Oh my god, my chair almost broke. <laughs> Hello, Sweetest Heights! There goes my phone. Hello, Sweetest Heights! Today I'm fantastic. Look what I got. Today is a good day. And this one. <laughs> Yes, queen. <laughs> Today I am tasting a bunch of dinners from Cheesecake Factory. About a month or two ago, I tasted a bunch of the appetizers and y'all loved it. So I was like, why not taste the dinners today? I'm going to tell you my honest opinion, tell you the price, the calories. I'm gonna get in depth with each meal because these are kind of pricey meals, to be honest. This is not sponsored. <laughs> if you're gonna pay like a nice little coin for a meal, you wanna know like every detail about that meal. So that's what I'm here for. <laughs> like I said, it is pricey, so I only got six meals only. <laughs> All for me. <laughs> Three for each tit. <laughs> I tried to get like a whole variety because there's so many options at Cheesecake Factory. They have like literally everything. So I chose wisely, I think. Let's see what I got. Oh wait, first. Hit that subscribe button to become a juicy red tomato. Also, if I don't like something or I do, whatever, don't get offended if my opinion is different than yours, okay? This is a food review, so I'm gonna give my honest opinion if I don't like something. So anyways, let's start. I got the fettuccine Alfredo and <laughs> y'all, that is like a tiny bit. Okay, okay, obviously it isn't a tiny bit. Before, like, 50, I think this was like 15 or $16. I'm gonna see afterwards, like, the actual prices. For that much money, I expect this thing to be full. Only, like, the bottom of it is full. This is not a lot of food. But it smells real good, so maybe it's worth it. <laughs> mm. Yes, okay. Next up, we have, what is this? Cashew chicken. Oh, my God. Now, this is a portion. Yo, that is a lot of chicken. This looks incredible. It has rice underneath. I see cashews. Cashews are my favorite nut. <laughs> this looks incredible. Snatch me. <gasps> Y'all, we have the mac and cheese burger. Oh, wait, where's the fries? They must be in there somewhere. Look at the fried mac and cheese on top of it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. It's all kind of disassembled, so I'm going to put it together, eat it, I cannot wait. Next up we got, ooh, y'all, spaghetti and meatballs. Oh my god. Okay, now this is a better portion of pasta. It's very heavy. There are only three meatballs, but thank god they're big. They're big ass meatballs. This looks so like stereotypical spaghetti and meatballs, like what you imagine. You know what I mean? Like when you make this at home, it don't look like this. The meatballs look all crusty. But this is like perfection. This is really pretty. Let me just say, Cheesecake Factory's takeout presentation is always glorious. Okay, now we have this giant burrito. <laughs> I think it's called the Factory Burrito. I'm not sure. I'm gonna see afterwards. Oh, oh, yes, that is a good portion. Oh, oh, oh. Obviously, this isn't the kind of like burrito that you eat with your hands. You eat this with a knife and fork because it's cheesy factory, so it's fancy. Oh my god, this looks so good. Oh, so this is the chicken parmesan and herb or something. Oh my god. Now that is a great portion of chicken. We have like three pieces of chicken here. It smells incredible. We have green beans, which also look good even though it's vegetables. I bet they're gonna taste like fancy green beans. And then we have delicious looking mashed potatoes. Oh, that looks so good. Now here we have the toppings for our burrito. We have some lettuce, some guac, and some sour cream. That's great, thank you. And here we got black beans. I think this is the side of the burrito. And I just realized, there are no fries. There are no fries! What is a burger without fries, y'all? I'm sad. <laughs> but it's totally fine. Everyone makes mistakes. It isn't a big deal. They forgot my french fries. I'm not gonna put up a fuss about it like some people would. I'm gonna look at the bright side. Everything else! <laughs> I'm gonna get my thumbnail and then I'm gonna start shoving everything in my face. Okay, y'all, I got my thumbnail. I'm ready to eat. Okay, I think we should first taste the chicken. The chicken, the mashed potatoes, and the green beans. It looks so delicious. It looks like comfort food. I am so excited for this. This is called the Parmesan Herb Crusted Chicken, and it was $17.95. <laughs> That's a lot of money. It's expected because it is Cheesecake Factory, and I am impressed by the portion of meat. That is a lot of chicken. That's like literally three pieces. They all look nice and breaded. Mmm. Mmm and like toasty, they look so good. Green beans are a small portion, but that's fine because no one cares. <laughs> and then meat and mashed potatoes look like a pretty decent portion. And there's gravy on everything, I think. I Googled all the calories of each meal and the calories for this is 1,530. 
So that's a lot of calories. Okay, let me just say, first of all, all these meals have a ton of calories in them, like a ton. But in Cheesecake Factory's defense, they have a whole skinny licious menu where like everything is under, I think like 600 calories. And y'all, it's really, really good. Like I love the skinny licious items. Like the Mexican salad is so good. I've had it so many times, it's delicious. So yes, they have options, which is good. A lot of like other restaurants only have fattening food. Because y'all, let's be real, there's a lot of rich people eating at Cheesecake Factory <laughs> and a lot of those rich people want to watch there. Thank you. So anyways, let's taste this. <laughs> Finally. Let's first taste the mashed potatoes. Oh my god, they look so good. Oh wow. Okay. Mmm. Hmm. Not a ton of flavor, but they taste so real. There's like lumps of potatoes in it, which I love. I think it's great. There's no like strong seasoning, but it's simple, kind of milky, salt and pepper, buttery. Um, and it just tastes very, very authentic and real. <laughs> Idaho would be proud <laughs> because that's like the potato state, right? <laughs> now let's taste the green beans. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. Okay, those taste super fresh, super crisp and crunchy, as you can tell by my teeth. <laughs> it's delicious. They're like dipped into this gravy that's just all over the whole plate. That's a good veggie, and that's rare for me to say. Wait, hold on. I've tasted the potatoes in the gravy. I forgot. Oh, let's get that gravy up in here. <gasps> oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's the flavor that the potatoes needed. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so good. So now, the moment of truth, the chicken. Y'all, I'm having trouble cutting it with my fork. <laughs> Knife who? I don't use her. Let's taste it. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. Wow. The breading has so much flavor. There is such a strong Parmesan essence and it almost tastes Thanksgiving-ish, which I love, but it's not like, you know, stuffing flavor. It's just like, it has that, I don't know, that warmness. That is so good, y'all. Let me just this is quality and quantity because you get a lot of chicken and it's really good chicken. Wow, wow, wow. The price is low cray cray, but that's what you're going to get when you go to these nice places, you know. Next up, let's do the Alfredo. So yes, it's a very empty plate to be honest. Like this is all you get. Like, okay, it might look like a lot, <laughs> but compared to the other meals that all come with a lot of food, this just doesn't cut it. Now you can add chicken for like three or four extra dollars. And when I tell you all the price, you won't want to add three or four extra dollars to this. <laughs> it was $16.95 for noodles and cheese sauce. Not even for meat. Meat is extra. I truly think that the meat should be included in the $16.95 price. I think that is just kind of cray cray that it's not. It should at least come with like a bread stick or like something, but this is, this is it. And the calories for this, y'all, are 2,310. This better taste like a chewable diamond. <laughs> but let's see what my tongue thinks. <laughs> That's not a creepy. Let's see what my taste buds think. That's better. Okay. No offense to Cheesecake Factory. This is just my opinion. You guys might love this. I don't know. But personally, I honestly think it's not flavorful enough. Like, it's not bad at all. It's, it's like, good. But you expect, like, the best fettuccine Alfredo ever. I think I've had better, to be honest. The price, the calories, in my opinion, all of it is too cray-cray. This is a pass for me. Sorry. Next up, let's do the cashew chicken. Now, this looks so good. The price of this spicy cashew chicken is $16.95. So, it is the same price as the fettuccine Alfredo, but it comes with tons of chicken. Now, this makes sense. The calories are 2,140, and I think it's just like Asian-inspired chicken um, with like white rice on the bottom. Ooh, that looks good. Let me just first taste some of the rice with like the sauce on it, okay? Mmm, perfect white rice. The sauce is sweet, but in a good way. Y'all know I've said it 8,000 times. I don't like sweet and salty together, but when it's Asian food, I like sweetness. Like I like sweet and sour chicken, stuff like that. So, so far this tastes great. Let's taste the cashew. Wait, hold on, some cashews. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. I love cashews. Let's taste the chicken. I'm ready for this. Mmm. Oh, my God. Very strong flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. It tastes like fried chicken with, like, some kind of Asian-inspired sauce on it. And it's so good. It works. It works real good. I love it. Wait, that's a peanut, y'all. That's not a cashew. Oh, that's cashew. <laughs> it's a small cashew. 
Amazing chicken. I think it's like white meat breast. White meat tit. <laughs> My turn. Now, I would not be mad if it was a little spicier because I love spicy things. But it's spicy enough. It's like the tiniest little bit. I love it. I think that it's worth the price compared to other <laughs> meals. We are halfway done. We have three items left. The mac and cheese burger. The massive burrito. And spaghetti and meatballs. I think we should do the burrito. It's huge. <laughs> As you can see, I put the lettuce on it. Sour cream. Guac. Let me smush that around. Yes. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. First of all, guac. Incredible. Wow. Oh, wow. Some of the best guacamole I've ever had. I think I tried it last time on the nachos in the appetizer video, but I didn't remember it being this good. Sour cream. <laughs> Perfection. I could eat sour cream with a spoon and cream cheese. Am I disgusting? Probably. They're delicious. I don't care. Let's taste the side that it came with, the black beans. Mmm. 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 Wow. Okay. They're great, but they're a little barbecue-y, which is odd. <laughs> but for some reason, I really like it. I think that's a good side. It came with a good amount. Like, you know, beans are heavy, so you don't need a ton. Let me cut this burrito in the middle, because we all know the middle of a burrito is the best part. I'm cutting it with a fork. Safety. <laughs> okay, let's see inside. Oh, wow. Okay. So, if y'all can see this, I see rice. I see chicken. Corn, which I don't like corn in my burritos, but whatever. Looks great. I'm gonna try to get some of everything in one bite to give you guys a good opinion. Got some chicken, some guac, sour cream, lettuce, rice, corn. Let's taste it. Hmm. Hmm. It's good, but it has a very basic burrito taste. Like, there's no big explosion of flavors it's just kind of there let me taste the chicken by itself get that corn off i think it's the chicken chicken's kind of basic it just tastes like chili powder honestly the rice is not that flavorful corn not a fan the best part is the guac <laughs> i'm gonna tell y'all mm. oh wow the guac has like lumps of avocado in it i love it i think the quantity great quality I mean, it's, it is good quality, but flavor, not so much. I mean, if you want a very simple burrito flavor, this is for you. But I like my burritos real juicy and cheesy. It's not bad. It's just not all the way there. It could be a lot better. Final two, meatballs and burger. Let's do meatballs first. Oh, wait, I didn't see the, I didn't see the calories or the price of the burrito. So, <laughs> the price is $15.50. So, that massive chicken-filled burrito is cheaper than the fettuccine alfredo. What? How? And the burrito's calories were 1,630. So that is a lot less than some of the others, which are like 2,000, you know? So let's do spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> Let me go back to my phone. <laughs> the price of the spaghetti and meatballs is 16.95, and the calories are 1,490. Let's first taste the pasta. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple, but not bad. Uh, there are a lot of spaghetti sauces out there that are very flavorless. This one's not. This one tastes like fresh tomatoes. It's just simple, but it's good. I think it's good. Now let's taste the meatballs. Oh, yeah. Now these are big daddy meatballs. By the way, I love meatballs, so I hope these slay me. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh wow, that is an amazing meatball. Oh, oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> it's one of the best meatballs I've ever had. I'm not joking. That's how you put flavor in a meatball. It tastes super cheesy. Like the flavor is just cheesiness. It's so good, and the sauce is so like refreshing on it. Amazing. Oh wow, wow. I wish there was a fourth meatball, just to you know add some more. Mm. <laughs> but that was delicious that was so good okay we got the fried mac and cheese burger with no side besides lettuce 
Um, oh wow, okay, so the mac and cheese burger is 1,280 calories. That's the least out of all of these items. Which is strange, because usually like burgers, you think, oh my, those are like the most calories. This is the least. And it was $13.95, so it was also the cheapest. Okay, okay. I hope it tastes good. As you can see, I put all the pickles, all the onions, and the one slice of tomato on there. Hello, brother tomato. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. Now, this mac and cheese ball is, I think, from the fried mac and cheese appetizer, and they just like squish it on a burger which is a great idea because those are delicious. And it has all this cheese sauce dripping down, so I hope that has good flavor. Let me taste it. Oh, wow. Mmm, whoa. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow, so that's delicious. You can't really taste the mac and cheese on it though. It just kind of blends in with the meat. It's hard to explain. It just makes the meat taste more creamy and salty, which I really like. And the cheese sauce is also really creamy and delicious. So like the cheese sauce has a lot of flavor. Mac and cheese ball usually does, but in a burger it just kind of gets lost. But even though it does, it's a great burger. It has great flavor. The meat is great. All the toppings are perfect. It doesn't really need ketchup or mustard because of the a cheese sauce. So I think that's really delicious. I just wish it came with the fries so I could taste test those too, but it's fine. Oh, uh, whatever. Y'all, that was such a fun video. If you watched the whole video, you're the truest tomato in all the patch. And so I know who you are. Leave a comment telling me your favorite item from Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Not sponsored. Also, y'all, go watch all my other videos if you want to. I made a Gushers cake. And I tasted the whole McDonald's breakfast menu. Go check both those videos out. They should be popping up around here. Don't forget to subscribe to Become a Tomato. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.